Hey guys, Sean Walsh here, back at you. Another video, Life Outside the Matrix. Check it out. A lot of people ask me, why did I get the vasectomy? Am I anti-kids? And I'll answer both of those questions in this video. Now, because I'm an introvert, and I'm a different breed of person that you probably have never ran into, me, I'm not anti-children, anti-kids. I love kids. Just don't want any of my own. And I've always been like this, so I knew that it was best that I got the procedure done. That way, I don't have any loose ends or any loose change running around that I'm not aware of. Now, I've always been great with children, but I've only spent a limited amount of time around children so I know if I had a child I probably would be a great father but I just don't want the responsibility and at this point in my life I see raising my own child if I had to plan it out it's an expense you know I know a lot of people say you shouldn't look at it like that child is a blessing yeah 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 whatever whatever you know when it comes time to feed that child, you know, you got to get out there and grind. That may be motivation to you or it may become a headache. I don't want the responsibility and I'm man enough to admit that I don't want the responsibility. So the responsible thing to do is, you know, get your shit cut. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're a man and you're out here sitting here putting your seed in women not wearing protection and you get one of these women pregnant hey you got to step up to the plate take care of responsibility and I would definitely do that if that happened to be my story it's not my story and I'm old enough to know what I want and don't want and I just don't want any children of my own you know so it is what it is to me at this point in my life a child of my own would be an extra expense that I don't want to manage, okay? <laughs> Let's call it what it is. And this expense is going to get greater and greater and, and increase as time goes on. This expense does not lessen over time. It increases, okay? Like a balloon payment, you know? So, it's not something I'm looking forward to. You know, um, the procedure got it done here in the Philippines cost me about 10,000 pesos which is less than 200 US dollars it was well worth the donation to the nonprofit organization that goes around and does this so uh, my hats go off to those guys and I was more than happy to make the donation you know as far as kids in this day and age it's just not the same as when I was growing up my generation I mean these kids they want to talk back, gonna you know tell you what they're gonna do and not gonna do, and I'm not having any of it. You know, if I, if you're my seed, I'm taking care of you. I done broke my back. I done sweated. I done bled for you. You gonna tell me what you ain't gonna do? Shit. You know, that's how I feel about it. Like, and in America. Not that I, I want to live to beat my kid or anything, but, you know, the state's going to tell you how you can and can't discipline your child. I'm like, well, you take care of this motherfucker then, you know? You know, you're going to tell me how I need to raise my child? You, you clothe and feed this motherfucker, you know? So not only do you have the extra expenses with children, you know, if you don't get along with the baby's mother, and all these other things. You had the state telling you how you need to raise your child, what you can and can't do, and they ain't putting up a fucking dime unless you're living off the state. You know, that's a whole nother subject within itself. But I don't want no kids. I mean, with kids, you can't do any of the shit I'm doing. I mean, the way I'm doing it. Can you travel with kids and a family? Sure, you can. You can do anything you want to do. But it's not the same experience, I can tell you that. I get up when I want to get up. If 
I want to fart in the room and light the room on fire, I ain't going to answer nobody, you know? I'm doing my own thing on my own terms. I eat what I want to eat. I eat out every day. I don't have to worry about answering to somebody. And that's just part of me being an introvert. But I knew very early on that I was not going to have any kids. So by me knowing that, I would be doing myself an injustice to sit here and bring one of these gremlins into the world, you know, and then being mad and pissed off at myself because I wanted 15 minutes of pleasure. I couldn't wrap it up, you know. So you just got to know what you want, guys, and prioritize what you want. You know, if you want kids, you want a family, hey, I'm not telling you not to go ahead and have a family. But if you want to travel, you want to do these all these things that you see these gurus online telling you that you can do, you're going to be limited. Okay? You're going to be limited. And like I said, it's another expense, another mouth to feed. And there's a lot of children in this world right now that don't have fathers and mothers. If you feel inclined to want to be a father or be a mom or whatever, you know, adopt. But you don't have to feel compelled to bring a seed into this world. You know, I, it gets me when people say, I want to leave my legacy behind. No, your legacy is what you do while you're living and breathing on this earth. It's not your lineage. So people get that confused. You have children and you are leaving your lineage behind, not your legacy. Because your children may not do shit that you've done. They may not do anything remotely close to what you've done. But you, you can live well past your legacy, what you've done on this earth, can far outlive anything your children or your children's children may do. You may create a dynasty in your, your lifetime, and that dynasty may be able to be passed on from generation to generation. They ain't not going to remember your kids. They're going to remember you. You know? So, don't get it twisted. But, uh, yeah. If you about that life, if you about trying to do for self and be the best version of yourself, for me, that's being by yourself and being comfortable being by yourself. That means learning how to be independent, not relying on anybody. That may, in some cases, for some of you, maybe you may be an introvert. You know? You don't need to be surrounded by people. And that's just me. I'm not saying that that has to be you. That's just me. That's how I see it. I do my best work when I'm by myself. Are there times when I'm around people and uh, I need to interact with people? Sure. But I keep my circle very small for obvious purposes because I only hang around like-minded people and those people that talk nonsense and uh, they complain and bitch and complain and whine like a little bitch about everything, I get rid of them very quickly. I don't need to hear it, you know? There's enough bitches in the world. I don't need a, a man around me acting like a bitch, you know? So, anyway, guys, before I go off on a tangent here, that's why I, I exited the matrix and I'm over here and it's not that many of us over here right now there's not many people that can afford to leave the country full time and do this so that's why I'm talking to those of you that feel like you're tired of the same old same old and you're looking for different options this may be an option for you it may not you know the only way to find out is to take that trip but anyway guys I'm here at my condominium building uh, this is it. See you in the next video.